he's the one who actually hired me to the business side to become a product manager. So thank you, Gary, for making, making me who I am right now. Anyway, so as I mentioned that I'm a techie guy. So a lot of times as a product manager, what I do is I look at the data. I'm sure there are two different types of product managers. One, go with a gut feeling. I feel right. I feel this is the way. I feel this button needs to be blue. I feel this button needs to be size 40. Right? And go with it. I'm sure many of them are successful. Maybe Steve Jobs is really the case. With the biggest product manager who go with a gut feeling. I'm not Steve Jobs. As you can see, I'm a Korean guy, you know, who look like Sai, right? So, <laughs> I'm, I'm not the kind of gut feeling creative genius guy as a product manager. So what do I have to rely on? I have to rely on data. If the data tells me that this is what people are reacting, then I go with it. But since I don't have a lot of data constantly coming to me, I have to go and search for a lot of data. Is, this, is the user using this? Not using it? If not, can I try a different thing? If they are using it? Oh, maybe this is the way I should go. So I'm constantly looking for data. And that's exactly how I'm going to approach the mobile payments in developed markets. So, I will talk about many players in the developed market ecosystems of mobile payments. All right, so let's, uh, let's see. I'm sure there are about 100 companies here. Um, I think the banks are there. It, actually, noticeably, City Bank is not in this chart, but I don't know. Anyway, so who's responsible for a payment? Anyone wants to guess? Many players. Many players. Yes. At the end, who was going to actually decide to adopt? Consumers. I mean, when I look at this chart, what this chart tells me is that it is confusing. <coughs> right? When it's confusing, it means that no one is responsible. And this consumer, when I ask my wife what does it mean by NFC, do you know what she gets? She zero idea. What does NFC mean? Right? I don't know what it means. But when consumers don't understand what it means, how can they accept an adapt? They don't know, they don't see it. Credit card swiping, they see it, they experience it, and they value it. NFC, well, you could say it's a tap and pay, but still, it's, it's very hard for them to accept because the terminology is called NFC and what they actually see it as a payment behavior is two different things, right? So, this is actually my observation. Again, I, I may be in trouble by saying this, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused who's going to be able to do So, as I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to approach this in more academic way. And sort of maybe I'll just give my personal opinions to see you know, what's going to happen in the mobile payments in the developed markets. Harvard Business Review, 2013, by Larry Donalds and Paul Newman, has uh, published a paper called Big Bang Disruption Theory. Has anyone heard about this? Big Bang Disruption Theory? No? Okay, that's good. So I can say whatever I want to say. Okay. <laughs> So, Big Bang Disruption Theory, anybody recognize this? Who used to buy these books for your boat trip? Yeah, you know, uh, I'm a second at 1.5 generation immigration, immigration child. So my parents, uh, they came about uh, 20 years ago to the US. And when they came, the first place they wanted to go was Niagara Falls, right? Because when we heard about US, they say Niagara Falls and Empire State Building, right? So I was, uh, I used to live in Virginia, so I used to drive all over the places. Niagara Falls, we made, we made an annual trip. And you know what my dad did? He bought this book, studied the map, he said, let's go there. It took eight, nine hours. We got lost you know, several times, but still we got there. Map was very important. That was, didn't exist in South Korea. So for me, to see this map was revolutionary. Wow, there's a guy that I could rely on. And a few years later, what happened? Real-time navigation device. Wow.